There's nothing worse than editing a video and then have to go through and redo the music. But nevertheless, I did it anyway. So what I'm calling the Creed effect or the Creed edit or cut out effect, whatever you want to call it, it's been very popular on Instagram and social media in general. I've seen a few videos in DaVinci Resolve how to do it, but this is my take on it. And so this here is my timeline. It looks complicated, but it's really not. As you can see, I had these fusion compositions. This is what's creating the cutout effect. So I'm gonna create a blank timeline and show you what I'm doing. So I wanna create a transition between these two clips. I'm gonna go into my effects panel, go to effects and grab a fusion composition. And then my place the clip I wanna transition into on top. I'm gonna create the transition using the composite modes. So click on the fusion composition, right click and open in fusion. And so this is a blank composition. There's gonna be nothing there but a media out node. I'm gonna grab my background node. I take the output of the background node and connect it to the media out. By default, it's gonna come in black. We wanna change the color to white. Change the color to white. And then I'm gonna grab a polygon node. You can attach it or leave it in an empty space. Leaving it in an empty space, I'm just gonna click and make some points. I'm gonna hold shift to create a straight line. Then I'm gonna create a diagonal line and another straight line. Well, another line. I'm gonna rearrange it just a little bit. Create this little cutout shape. Of course, the shape can be anything you want. Then I take the output of the polygon node and connect it to the background node. Now I go back into the edit page. So on the edit page with the fusion composition selected, go over to Spectre tab, go to composite mode and change it to, you hit A on the keyboard. And if you hit A twice on the keyboard, it'll go to alpha. And then the top clip that you want to transition into, hit the drop down here and change it to foreground. So now let's bring in the music. I'm going to mute the music for the sake of the tutorial. But right here at this little bass hit, that's why I want the, the cutout effect to start. So I place the fusion composition there. So when I get to the next base, I want another cutout. I'm gonna move my clip up a couple of tracks. I'm gonna hold the fusion composition, hit Alt, and make a copy, and then just move it to that next base hit. Now, of course, it's the exact same thing, but we have transform tools right on the edit page. So I'm just gonna use the position slider and move it over. And then I repeat. So I get the next base hit, go about right there, or here, my clip is actually too short, so I'm gonna straighten it, lengthen it out. And then we get to the next base hit, Use the position slider again. Oh. Click on the fuse composition. Use the position slide again. Slide it over. They give me three different cutouts. And then say for instance, for the last one here, I wanted to bring in the full footage. I'll just split the clips. And I can disable or delete these fusion compositions. So now effectively I have, let's say for instance, you want another shape. So since I didn't delete this, I got this fusion composition here. All I gotta do is open in fusion. Say for instance, if I want a circle, I'll just remove the polygon, grab the ellipse mask, and I'll just leave it as it is. Go back to the edit page, reset the position here, so now it's in the center. Then I'm gonna just move this down here. Then using the zoom and inspector tab, I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller. And then get to the next space hit. Go Alt once again, move up to create a copy. And this one here, I'm gonna just make it a little bit bigger. Then for the last one, do the same, repeat the same step, make it. You can either make it bigger or, of course, if you want to do another one and get to the last one, then you can make it fill out the whole frame. So utilizing this workflow, it keeps you from having to go back and forth in between Fusion. Also, these compositions are reusable. Save it to a folder, just open my media pool, go to Power Bin, and just throw this in the Power Bin. Only other thing you have to be aware of is the way you layer your video. So you have to keep in mind the top layer is the video that you want to transition to, and then in between, you want your Fusion compositions. And then your bottom layer or your bottom clip is gonna be a video that you're transitioning from. And so in the demo video I show, I add a little bit of spice. So basically I went in about five frames into the fusion composition and made a split. Then I went over to the effects panel, click on effects, I'm gonna click on the search bar, type in RMV2. I use one of the presets from my Rapid Movement V2 pack. This one here, I use Shake 2. So each time one of the so each time one of the compositions came in, it had this little shake effect too at first, just to give it a little spice. This little section here, I use the magic mask, of course, to cut out the subject. And then, once again, I use Shake 2 here as well. But on this one, they created this little flash effect. And this one here, I use the frame slam effect. So basically, it drops down real quick with a flash effect to it. Then just to look at some of the shapes here. Here, if I open it in Fusion, here I just use a rectangle mask and stretch it out and moved it to the, and left it in the middle of my framing. Then if I go back to the edit page, if I disable these clips, you can see here it starts off right in the middle, then it gets bigger before it overtakes the whole footage. This composition, I made little triangle cutouts for each end for filling in the complete frame. This composition here, I once again use a rectangle, just filling out the top and bottom. Back in the edit page, once again, the video that I'm transitioning from, at the composition, and basically I just moved the position to fill out the frame. It basically goes one, two, 
three. You're gonna be using this with a magic man subject. The magic man subject, you just leave it as normal. So it just overlay everything else because it already has an alpha background. So it's not gonna interrupt anything. Then of course you want to make a copy of the clip. So this here is the copy of the clip and I have it set to foreground. So it's gonna abide by whatever the fusion composition is set to, which is set at alpha. So tell me what you think of my workflow in comparison to others. If you want to check out Rapid Moving V2, I'll leave a link in the description and I'll see you in the next video.